Hi, welcome to 40 Fridays of Fundamental Science Experiments with Rohini. 30 years after Richard Oldham proposed that the Earth's core was liquid, along came another scientist, Lehman. She studied the data of Oldham again and thought that his solution was too simple. So she started analyzing the data again and she was the one who proposed that the core of the earth had an outer liquid zone and an inner solid zone. And how did she prove this? She studied the P waves and the S waves in a 1929 New Zealand earthquake. And she noticed that the zone where the P waves were absent in Oldham's data actually had faint P waves coming out. And she said that as Oldham proposed, if the Earth's core is just nothing but a dense liquid, then the P waves entering from the solid to the liquid and re-entering the solid are bent or refracted and should be completely absent in the shadow zone proposed by Oldham. But instead, she noticed that the P waves were also seen in the shadow zone. Very faint, but yes, they were there because the seismometers were better and the technology advanced and she could detect small faint P waves in the shadow zone proposed by Oldham. And she said that this can happen only if the outer core of Earth is liquid and it also has a solid inner core and these P waves passing through the liquid outer core will hit the inner solid core and then are refracted and that is how the shadow zone also catches the faint P waves. And she finally deduced the structure of the core to be the outer liquid core and the inner solid core. Perfect. Thank you.